Hey everybody, Bossman here, and I want to come on here and just talk about the matches that have been listed as of that as of Sunday, 12:30 a.m. Eastern Time for Survivor Series later tonight on pay per view. We have a Divas Championship. Lumberjill match between Beth Phoenix, the champion, defending against Eve. Let's face it, this is just a normal Eve versus Beth match, trying to get all the divas some camera time. And I see Beth, I see Beth Phoenix retaining the Divas Championship. Then we have the United States Champion, Dolph Ziggler, defending the United States Championship against long overdue contender, John Morrison. John Morrison deserves a shot like this for a long time. I think for obvious reasons outside the ring, WWE felt they had to wait this long. But I would actually like to see John Morrison take advantage of this opportunity. And I'd like to see WWE give him the opportunity to become United States Champion and see what he does with it. And I also think with Dolph doing Double Duty would also be in the traditional Survivor Series match that this is WWE's way of saying, Dolph, we're ready to push you up to being a bona fide main eventer. We're giving you the chance to prove it. Now prove it. I think you will. However, I think he will lose the United States Championship to John Morrison. Then we have Team Orton versus Team Barrett. I believe that Team Orton will be the one to win that match. That's all I want to say about it. We have Alberto Del Rio defending the WWE Championship against CM Punk. I do believe Alberto Del Rio will be retaining the WWE Championship, even though I would like to see Punk get it. I don't see what they would be able to do with Punk having the title right now. I think the WWE title is in good hands being that it is in the top heel hands at the moment. So, as I said before, I see Alberto Del Rio Retaining the WWE Championship. Then we have Mark Henry versus The Big Show for the World Heavyweight Championship. I see Mark Henry retaining the WWE World Heavyweight Championship because I see Sheamus eventually. Hopefully within the next few months, getting the push to either face Mark Henry one on one for that title, or Sheamus winning the World Heavyweight Championship as far off as Elimination Chamber. So. 
don't think it would make any sense for Big Show to win it at this point. So, Mark Henry will retain. And hopefully, they won't decide to pull the same stunt of doing the suplex off the top rope and making the ring collapse. Because that would be totally and utterly horrible. Um, and then you have in the main event, John Cena and The Rock teaming up, as they've been saying, never before, never again. And being pitted against Awesome Truth, the team of Miz and our truth Now, everybody would like or think that, you know, or I wouldn't say everybody, but wrestling fans, a lot of people are saying, and I said myself, I don't see John Cena and The Rock walking over the Miz and our truth. I don't even see them winning this match. If I was booking it, I would like to see John Cena finally turn heel. I think this would be the perfect opportunity for him to do it. But with him just releasing that Rise Above Hate shirt, I obviously don't think there's any way that's going to happen. So, I do believe that The Rock will turn on John Cena, that The Rock is being made out to be the heel leading into their WrestleMania run, and I don't think that The Rock being heel will matter much to anybody in any arena or any fan in the WWE Universe, because The Rock will be cheered out of that building and into that building no matter what he decides to do. So, those are my thoughts and predictions. Tell me what all of you think, and I will catch you all next time.